Hello guys, and today I'm going to cook some sort of curried meal, okay? I'm going to, something I'm sort of doing myself, I'm making up myself, okay? Now, I'm using some, um, cheap, um, chicken mince. I'm going to show this very quickly. It cost 69 pence because it was about to expire that day, and I put it in the freezer. I'll take it out the freezer, and I'm going to... Is it just meat and veg and it's chicken with some vegetables it claims it's got carrots kidney beans and onion and it's starting to drip so I'll leave that um, with it I'm gonna have some pasta this is fusely pasta I'm going to do a sort of strange curry thing with pasta um, that I've, my own sort of creation if you like based on um, chili con carne um, here's, I'm going to use a can of chopped tomatoes and some curry powder, more curry powder and some coriander leaf, that's chopped coriander leaf, okay, and also I'm going to use some out of date um, double cream now because I'm cooking it it should cook it okay I even know it's out of date and if it smells well that's what the curry powder is for as well because the curry powder I found out if you've got some sort of um, cream or things which are we've also got fake cream this is real cream okay but we have some fake cream which I once went over the date started to smell a bit put some curry powder into it and magically it got rid of the smell but it still tasted okay believe it or not so I'm going to Put all this together. Um, you'll see me cook all this in a moment. And then I'll eat it, okay? It's my own sort of creation. And one of the benefits of this is you can let it cool down once you've got some left over. And then you can eat it the next day cold even, believe it or not, I believe. Now, I've done something similar to this, but not exactly this. Um, when I was practicing with um, something else, okay? So there you go guys, thanks for watching but don't go away because now I'm going to cook it, okay? Right, first I'm going to do some preparation work, okay? Now normally you do this straight in the frying pan but I've learnt the hard way, if I'm going to record anything or film anything it will go wrong. So I'm trying to reduce that by doing everything and then putting it into this plastic container which I'll use later anyway to reheat another day or maybe not even reheat it because you can eat this cold so I think so after it's been cooked so I'm going to put everything into here okay usually well not the actual mince but everything else so and I'm going to stir it so first I'm going to let the double green open it up I'm just going to see how smelly it is. Not the best flavour, but perfectly okay. So I'm going to pour that straight into there. And I'm just, I did want to show it going in, but you can see that was opened and that's now gone in there. So I want to see it actually going into there, but never mind. You get the idea, that's the cream gone in. I did it off camera, unfortunately, slightly, but never mind. That's the cream. Now, I'm going to put in some curry powder. And lift the lid off this. And Okay, so I managed to cut the lid off the curry powder. I'm just going to guess it to be totally honest with you, so. Move it over a bit. Hopefully, that should be enough curry powder. Now, 
I've got some coriander leaf. I'm going to put that in, so this up. And I'm just going to guess it. That's what it looks like so far. And now, where it's all going to go badly wrong, I'm going to put a tin of, a can of, tin of tomatoes. I'm not going to put all the way at the moment. The whole can is going to go in, but for now I'm going to... First, because otherwise you'll get a mess everywhere, so I'm going to pour in a lot of the juices first. I'm going to push this down and now, now push the lid down. I can now... Most of it, most of it will come out now. There we go. That should be the. Um, Canned tomatoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it. And it looks like this. I may add, I think I'm going to put in some extra um, curry powder. This is probably going to be a disaster, but never mind. So I'm going to put in some even more curry powder. So this may be a mistake, but never mind. And I'm using mild curry powder. Normally, people might have hotter ones, but. I ain't got some mild curry powder because I prefer the stuff that's not too hot. Okay. Right. So that's the preparation for that at the moment. Next thing I'm gonna do move this out of the way a moment. Now I'm going to do is so I'm going to um, get this ready. So I've got this is the mince meat, this is the chicken mince. So no, this is not how you're supposed to do it, but I'm trying to film it. So it's probably some nice way of opening it, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to stick a fork in. I'm going to open with a fork, take the mince meat out, take out this plastic thing, and there you go. That's the mince meat dealt with for now. 
as opposed to fry it but in, in um, oil I'm not going to bother because I think it's probably wet enough, moist enough and also um, you know I'll be adding lots of liquid later so that's that next thing to do is to um, deal with the fuseli and I'm going to put in some of that, so wait a moment. I now have the pasta and I have the saucepan here, it's not got any water in at the moment so I'm just going to um, I'm going to put in more than I could eat because this is going to be over several days This is more this is more than a day's worth, okay? And extra bits. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to um boil the pasta, I'm going to start it on here and then I'm going to take it downstairs while to finish off while I'm doing the mince and the other stuff So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to turn it on. Then I'm going to put some boiling water in it. Um, normally you shouldn't leave the pan on while it's heating, but I know it takes a while to heat. And I've already boiled the kettle, so I'm going to pour boiling water in now. Wait a moment. Right, now I better do this quickly, so um, I've got the kettle, take my word for it, and I'm 
lights and the pasta. So now, turn it up on full. I know this isn't the right thing to use, but I'm doing it with what I've got now, so. It's also a quick way of cleaning the fork. I'm going to wait for it to get back to the boil. While I'm doing that, I'm going to take some stuff downstairs which I don't need anymore. Right, as you can see, it's starting to bubble now. It's starting to boil, okay? So now I'm going to move this out of the way a minute. Now I'm going to, uh, I'll put the chicken mince on here and stir it, so I'm going to chop it up, like this. shouldn't normally do this but so while it's doing this I'm going to 
take the pasta downstairs to finish off. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to make sure all the chicken's cooked fully. Um, keep stirring it. Normally supposed to put oil in, but I'm not going to. But this particular frying pan is fairly resilient regarding stains and things like that, so it doesn't really matter. No, I'm not supposed to, just because I'm putting some water, not because I want to. But normally you would use oil, but I'm trying to do this quickly. Okay, I'm going to put some more water in. I'm not really supposed to do this, but this is my own idea. This is a way of very quickly cooking mince, because it's going to be full of liquid anyway, when, because of the tomato, you know, and some tomatoes and the cream and all the rest of it.
Right, I think this is generally done. So I'm not going to turn this down, totally down. And the water at that point is evaporated, so. Just to be extra sure, I'm going to put in just a little bit more water. As I said, normally you would use oil, but I'm just trying to be different. And also boiling hot water will probably cook it quicker. Okay, so I'm going to assume that's enough for the mince. Now I'm going to put in what I did earlier. So this is where it's a little bit of disaster, but I'm, so I'm not going to. This is where and yeah, I put everything into this tub. And this is plastic container, which you saw me do earlier. Now I'm going to pour it all in. Most of it's in. Some of it isn't, but it wouldn't matter because I'm going to be using this later, so. And I'm going to stir this around. And a lot of it will get pulled back in again, so. And this is the sauce, essentially. And now this will take some time to heat, so I'm going to put this back on again, so I'm going to turn this back on again. I'm going to see how the pasta is doing a moment while it's heating up. Downstairs.
okay so it's starting to bubble so I'm going to turn this off now because um, the ceramic hob doesn't go off immediately it takes quite some time to cool down so that's a plate from downstairs ready for when the pasta's done there's already salt and pepper within the curry powder so I'm not going to add any more So I'm just going to let that come on bubbling. And I'm going to carry on checking on the pasta and then I will drain the pasta and um, add it to it, believe it or not.
Okay, I've got the, the um, pasta from downstairs. So now, I'm going to drain the pasta, okay? So, I'm going to put that on a sauce on another saucepan okay i wouldn't normally do this but as i said this is easy if i can do it on camera okay okay now what i'm going to do is with the past drop drained Now, I'm going to pour it if pour is the right word, but things like this, but in with the curry and leave the rest of the pasta to cook in the curry. I know people don't normally have pasta with curry, it's my own idea. It's also based on the fact that around here you can buy various um, chicken tikka um, type pasties and things. And which you can eat cold, so that gave me the idea. I know you can eat pasta cold, so it gave me the idea, okay? Okay, and while it's doing that, it's cooling down a bit, I'm going to take the saucepan downstairs. I don't need them anymore. In a moment, I'm going to pour this back into a lot of the excess. It's going to get poured back into here, as I said. It won't matter if there's some already left in the bottom because it's going to go back in anyway and it'll get mixed up. And obviously the warm for heat the other that was left in the bottom. And it's only cream and um, tomato stuff anyway. And this will soon reheat its. Um,
Right, okay guys, is anybody still here? Right, okay, so now I think it's probably ready, so... What I'm now going to do is... Normally it would warm a plate, but it's very, very hot weather here and I don't need to. And I'm going to put a lot of it, as I said, back into this um, plastic container, so... A lot of it is going to go... To make things easy, I'm going to scoop some of it in, just so... makes it easier for me this is so that it can be Put in the fridge for another day when it's cooled down. In fact, this is so solid, I think I can just scoop all of it in that I want. So. The rest of it is enough for me. In fact, I think I might put some of it back in because um, it works better for a meal. Now, what's left here, I'm going to... to put this onto a plate and then I'm going to eat it okay right guys remove the knife and fork out of the way for a moment I have here the frying pan I'm just going to let it Going like so, and I'm going to use this spatula to scoop out the rest of it. I'm gonna do and I'm gonna put I'm gonna go back again and get the coriander and put some extra coriander on top. Wait a moment. In fact I can do that in the uh, main part where I eat it, okay? So it doesn't matter, okay? Okay guys, I'm back, okay? And as I said I'm gonna put some extra coriander on the top. Extra coriander leaf. Chop coriander leaf on the top, so I've got the coriander leaf here. It's up the top. And I think I've put some coriander leaf in earlier, if not, well never mind, it's there now. So right, so this is the meal. I said I've never done anything exactly like this before, I've done things similar but, and as I said, this is my own variation, it's not from a precise recipe, okay, now. You can definitely tell it's spicy. Even though this is um, a 
Also, in another recipe, I think it tells you to put coriander leaf on afterwards, so that's another reason why I've done this. Okay, on the bush girl bait, some of this on. And I've looked up the recipes for ideas, okay, but um, I think this is quite unique eating a curry with pasta. And yeah, as I said, it's I got tomatoes in because um, when they did tikka, tikka masala in this country, they used tomatoes because British people like tomatoes a lot, and so it was a curry that was created especially for British people, okay, in Britain, I believe, okay. By the Indian community that wants to do curries that white people, in simple terms, would like, okay. And Indian food is very popular here, even amongst what you would call traditional British white people, okay? And yes, you do get the juiciness of the tomatoes. It actually tastes better than I thought it would. A while ago I did an experiment with something similar to this where I used sausages instead. Normally you have like chopped beef or lamb or chicken and curry, but I used sausages for once. I don't think I did a video of this, I don't think I did a video of it. Um, I also used pasta for it and was quite surprised and um, tomato so I thought I'd do it again but this time with some chicken mince and as I said this is a very easy to cook meal um, the, min the chicken mince I had had some vegetables in it, you probably in your country, if you're watching, probably won't be able to find something like that. But, normally, I don't have things like carrots and curries to my knowledge, so. Would I do this again? Definitely, I think. If I can get cream, cream cheap enough and the only reason I got the chicken mince was because it was cheap. I tried it before, and. I've discovered if cream smells like it's going off and if it tastes too nice you can put lots of um probably it's not you know totally mouldy you can put curry powder and things and that will get rid of any bad taste in my experience okay so I'm pretty nearly finished so So there you go. For those of you that like to see me cooking, there's my own variation on chicken tikka masala, and that looks nothing like chicken tikka masala. No. Chicken tikka masala is cooked with slightly different ingredients, but and people eat it with rice, not with pasta. But there you go, guys. A, ch a chicken curry meal using minced 
chicken rather than chopped chicken and there you go guys thanks for watching bye